Welcome to Politely Honest. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube at Politely Honest, TikTok at Politely Honest, and Instagram at Politely Honest Pod. I am your host, Dozy, and I'm going to go ahead and jump right into episode two. A sentiment that I often hear echoed is people saying, well, I'm single because I refuse to settle, or I'm single because I'm not settling. When I ask them, well, what does settling look like to you? What I often realize is a lot of people are single not because they refuse to settle. A lot of people are single because they lack self-awareness. A lot of people are single because they refuse to acknowledge and accept who they are, who they are not, what they qualify for, and what they don't qualify for. Allow me to elaborate. Let's say I'm a high school student, right? And I want to go to college. And so I start applying to a bunch of colleges. I apply to Harvard. I apply to Yale. I also apply to a bunch of non-Ivy League colleges. Harvard does not accept me because based on my test scores and my grades, I do not meet the requirements to go to their institution. Yale also does not accept me. I don't get accepted to any of the Ivy League colleges that I apply to. However, I do get accepted to a bunch of the non-Ivy League colleges that I apply to. Imagine me turning around and saying, well, I just won't be going to any college or university because if I go to the ones that I apply to that, that accepted me, I would be settling. Imagine if I said that if I go to the universities and colleges that I actually qualified for, that want to give me scholarships and grants and, and all of this good stuff, I would be settling. Those colleges and universities are somehow beneath me. That's what a lot of y'all do when it comes to the dating market. Y'all feel like y'all are too good for the people that y'all qualify for. A lot of y'all are waiting for Harvard acceptance letters with community college grades, with community college test scores. Y'all think y'all are too good for where you belong. And so you're holding out, waiting for a Harvard acceptance letter that's never coming. Summer is over and you're still waiting for that acceptance letter. The semester has started and you're still waiting for that acceptance letter. Because even though everything in your life has told you you were never going to Harvard, you have somehow convinced yourself that anything outside of, a H outside of an Ivy League college is beneath you. A HBCU is beneath you. A mid-tier college or university is beneath you when really some of y'all only qualify for, for community college, right? Your past relationships are your grades. The people that you've been able to get to commit to you are your test scores. Notice I did not say the people that you can sleep with because men are sleep with anything. But when it comes to commitment, men are a lot more selective. And the same goes with, with men. Just because you might have a lucky night and get a chick that's out of your league does not mean that's your new grade point average. In case you haven't caught on by now, this is all a metaphor. I am comparing colleges and universities to the top 5% of men or women that people want to date. Because most of us don't qualify for that. Most of us did not go to an Ivy League college and we turned out all right. Everyone is not going to qualify. See, here's the thing. The people who, who are going to Harvard already got their acceptance letters. Most people who go to Harvard have known damn near their whole life that they're going to end up at Harvard. They didn't just wake up one day and decide, oh, this is my new standard. Because even if you wake up and decide to have a new standard for yourself, that doesn't mean you have the requirements to, to get that thing. The problem is everybody thinks they deserve whatever it is that they want, and that's not how life works. I'm going to tell you all something. The only thing that we deserve are the results that we're getting from the work that we've put in. I'm going to say that again. The only thing that we deserve are the results that we're getting from the work that we have put in. You don't deserve it just because you want it. And when people tell you, maybe you need to be more realistic with your expectations from the dating market, y'all say stuff like, oh, I'm not settling. Y'all need to stop telling people to lower their standards. No one is telling you to lower your standards. We're telling you to look at your test scores. That's what we're telling you to do. We're telling you to look at your test scores and where do those test scores tell you that you belong? Because for a lot of y'all, it's not Harvard. Just like for a lot of y'all, it's not with those top five and top 10% of people that you think you want to date and you feel like anything outside of that will be settling. That's not the case. That's not in you. That, it's, 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 for some people, it's not in the cards. And that's not an insult. Average people end up with average people, just like average people go to average universities and average colleges. We're not telling you to settle. We're telling you to look at your test scores. We're telling you to look at your GPA. It's time for y'all to stop what you're doing and, and grow up. Like, social media and these talking points, have y'all really feeling like everybody is going to get a certain lifestyle? 
That's not the case. It's time for y'all to stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. The time is now. We're not, no one is telling you to lower your standards. Your standard is your test scores. Whatever you've been doing with your life, whatever has been good enough for you your entire life, however you've been performing your entire life is exactly where you belong. And, for, and, and that's not insulting to say. That shouldn't be an insulting truth to accept. It is what it is. Everybody does not get into Princeton. Everyone does not get into Ivy League College. It just is what it is. It's time to look at your test scores.